we're going to be drawing the California quail. And I'm going to be using my black wing pencil, a number eight round brush, acrylic gouache or acrylic and white, and an eraser, and my daughter's school grade paint set. <laughs> So you really can use whatever you have at home. And you also need a cup of water and a paper towel. All right, so we're gonna start with our pencil and we're gonna look at the overall shape of the quail. So the first shape, I'm gonna start with the body so we can lightly get the body in. And I'm not gonna press down too hard so that if I need to erase my lines, I can. You see how it's a rounded shape, but I noticed that this belly angles this way a little bit, this belly angles this way, and then the bottom comes down like this. So it's a rounded shape, but it's more kind of shaped like an egg, I'd say. Come down like that. Okay, so that'll be the belly. And then from there, I might do a little shape for the head. So we got two circular shapes and then we connect the back of the quail here. Connect down the front and then it kind of comes in like this. All right, he has a little swoosh that goes up like that. So I'm just gonna draw a line like that so I know the direction of the swoosh. And in this photo that I got from Unsplash, kind of comes up like this. You go on the line, and then it comes back around like this, because it's gonna go back down into the point like that. It's kind of hanging over like this. Might make that a little bit bigger. All right, then we have, I like to, kind of lightly sketch in where the markings are going to go even though I might come back with the acrylic or acrylic wash and fix it I like to know where the lighter values are going to be so I'm just lightly sketching that in here then if I look at the eyeball it goes back from the little swoosh here figure out where the eyeball is supposed to be. So the eyeball is probably going to be somewhere in there. And in this picture, he's kind of squinty. I'm going to make the eyeball a little more open. And then the beak. And again, these are lines that I, I can change in a race. It's not perfect. But the beak is kind of like a triangle. So I'll come in like this. And then it's going to come off. Kind of like that. Goes around that way. The bottom comes like this and connects like that. All right. And so I see that his belly comes out as far as the feather. So I'm going to bring it out a little more. Make him a little more rounded. I'm just working on the shape a little more. All right, come up like that. All right, and this quail has his back to us. So you can do a little directional line. It comes from like the white marking all the way through the back out to the tail like that. And if you do this, then you can kind of build the tail around that line. I'll show you what I mean. So the back's gonna be here, and then this is one wing, like a wing that's hidden there, and then the other wing, just looking at the overall shape, is gonna be somewhere in here. All right, and then we'll 
make individual feathers a little more in just a second, but that's kind of where that wing is. But the tail kind of hangs down like this. So it'll be somewhere in there. All right. Feet are a little bit trickier, but it'll help if you do a little directional line this way. One's going to go that way. One's going to go that way. And then I'm going to figure out where I want this little branch to go. You just can see me kind of work with the shape a little bit. And then it comes down this way. It's a gnarly branch. I'm just going to make it go off like that. Draw through the tail. Alright. So, one foot is kind of hanging on to this branch here. And you barely see that toe. And then another toe is kind of coming up this way. And another toe goes that way. Kind of like that. Bird feet are really weird. Some people just draw like lines and toes. Alright, then this one has a toe that goes somewhere in there. And then the other one. I think this bird is actually missing a toe. And then we we'll make one. So now we can work on the shape of the feathers a little more. Now that we know where the, the shapes go and the feathers go, we can use our eraser and clean it up a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna take my little animal eraser and clean up some of the lines that I don't need. So I don't need this directional line here. And I don't need this line of the branch. And I don't need some of these lines. I'm gonna put back in where that little white swoosh is. So I know where it is. Okay, we can do some of these lines. And that line. Details in the tail a little bit. Now we can start to add color. I'm going to use my number eight round pencil, dip it in a little bit of water, and I'm going to start with a little bit of this purpley color. It's like a purpley brown. Can you see it? It's a purpley brown color. And I'm just going to start painting my quail.
right, the way that the light is hitting, I see a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna take this kind of mustardy yellow color. And I'm gonna start with that in here where it's got some yellow spots. Don't worry, let it bleed. I see a little bit in the feet and I see a little bit up here, a little bit of light. Alright, I use that same purpley color for this part, the little swoosh. Gonna use some of the purple in the branch so it all comes together. Don't be afraid to add a little more color and let the colors kind of mix together a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then we'll add our next few layers. Okay, I moved it up a little bit so you could see. And I let that layer dry. So next, we can add, I see a little bit of blue in this picture. So I'm trying to decide what blue will look the best. And I like this blue right next to that brownie purple color. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, we'll add a little bit of that to pump it up a little. So there's a cool shade coming from this left side. So we'll put that in here on this side. So it's cooler on this side, warmer on this side. And that's what we're going for. If you use too much water, it'll pool. Right, and I even see more yellow in here, so I want to add a little bit of that warmth on top. to get a little bit darker so I'm going to take that purpley color again and have less water and just kind of add another layer underneath so it looks like that feather is flipping under and then I see a little more dark in here so while that blue is wet I'll just go back into it Oh, 
darker on this back side here. And don't be scared to let the colors bleed. let that dry a little bit all right I used a hair dryer to let the layers dry a little bit so I can work on the eyeball so now I'm gonna use yes less water and I'm gonna work on the details a little more I think I want that to be more blue so I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue And put it in there. Alright, and with watercolors you you have to layer it. So I'm gonna let the eyeball dry and then I can do another layer in a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna take a little of that blue and I'm gonna put it in the top of the beak where I see a lighter kind of bluish color. And layer it at the bottom of the bead here. Alright. And again, we're going to have to let that dry. So while that's drying, I will put a little bit of cool. So like that purpley color and some blue into the branch here and there's a shadow there right Just put it on the back side of the feet all right I see a little bit of this blue in the swoosh here. So we'll put some of that blue in here. Swoosh. And let's let that dry. Okay. Next, I think I am going to use a little bit of black mixed with purple. This, which is kind of like the black that they have is kind of like a green, which I don't love, but I'm going to try it. And it'll kind of look like that. Mm, so those two give you kind of a gray which is what we need and I'm gonna layer it on here underneath and then that needs to be a little darker and then this could be a little darker and anywhere else where you feel like it might need a few more darks we could use a little more blue what do you think so I'm gonna put blue here oops too blue and okay This color in here too. Mm 
little spot in here. dry okay now I'll start to do a little details I feel like we might need something up here like it might be too there we go and then also the beak I need something to tone down that blue a smidge there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll add the white details. Okay, for the white details, I'm going to be using acrylic wash. You can use acrylic or wash or whatever you have, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to squeeze it onto my palette over here. And make sure your brush is rinsed and clean and you have it at a point. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my acrylic wash on here. And then I'm going to just start to work on the details a little bit. So we have this uh, white swoosh that the California quail has. There's a little highlight in the eye. Got a little highlight there. And a little bit of white in the beak. A little bit of white there. Okay, I just added more water. So it's not quite as white. And a little bit around the eye. don't like that so I'm gonna take a little black clean it up there we go all right so then take my white and put more paint on the brush and then I see like a little swoosh here and here then I see a little swoosh here and here, little accents there. And you can kind of go along your pencil lines, but you don't want to be so perfect.
think you're about finished. Just if there's any other little last things that you want to do, like if you want to put some accents and lines like that, you can do that. Um, let me do a little here. Take my blue. You know, because we, we've enhanced the colors a little bit, so you can experiment. I didn't like the hard edges so much, so I'm just going to soften it. Yeah, so we're just about finished, and these are just last little things that you see that you might want to put in there. I do see some little white spots up in here. like more yellow or something there and then we'll be done. I'm going to call it done so I don't overwork it. You can add whatever other details that you'd like. All right, I felt like I needed a bit background, so I'm going to take this purpley color. Okay, now I think it's done. 